I said to myself, I want to win the championship. It was proving that, yes, I could do it. The team is ready for that. I was ready for that. It takes days and maybe years to really realize what you've done. Max Verstappen is ahead of Lewis Hamilton. He's already the top of the top, but maybe the top of the top of the top. He has gone from last all the way to first. It's not just winning, but inside. And you know what you've done. You know how good you are. In 95, I had a terrible season. I'd come off the back of a good effort uh, in 94, nearly won it, but Michael bagged that one, and it was for all sorts of reasons. 94 was a complicated season, but 95 seemed like a, a clear run at potentially winning the World Championship, and I, I was found wanting, and I think I had to regroup, and I asked myself why I'd failed, and came out with a different attitude in 96. I think I thought it would be fun to play the, um, the mind games with Michael Schumacher and uh, I think he was far better adapted at, uh, at tackling that than I was at the time in 95, but 96 I think I managed to sort it out. Villeneuve on the right, Hill is on the left and a brilliant start by Damon Hill and Villeneuve has been passed by Jean Alesi and by one of the McLarens. So Terrible start for Jacques Villeneuve. It's Villeneuve. Jacques Villeneuve is out of the race. Damon Hill is the world champion of 1996. It was a bit of an odd one because I was told I'd won the championship before I'd finished the race. So I came on the radio and said, do I still have to do the rest of the race? <laughs> Could I come in now? But clearly uh, there was a race to be done. Um, so by the time I got to the finish, I, I'd been carrying around the realization that I'd, I'd won the world championship, um, but not able to celebrate immediately. So relief is always the, the biggest uh, experience, a situation like that. That was his championship. He had worked at it for, for a long time. He had almost won it until Michael put him in the wall a couple of times. So he deserved it. And, and we knew, so I was quite happy that to lose it was to him. You have a little moment to yourself on the slow down lap, um, pat yourself on the back, and, uh, but then it takes days and maybe years to really realize what you've done. I didn't have a little tear until uh, at least a couple of days later when I was um, alone, probably for the first time um, since I got out of the car. Realizing that the, the doubts maybe have all been expelled and, and uh, you've, uh, you can be at peace with yourself. So that's, that's quite a moment. It's 12 years since Britain last won a world championship. It's 17 years for Brazil since the late great Ayrton Senna. And although Hamilton starts favourite by virtue of his seven-point lead today, Massa clearly, as you can see, has the home advantage. Everybody is ready. The fans gave me a lot of energy. The team is ready for that. I was ready for that. But then suddenly it starts to rain. I was struggling, you know, my tyres were shot. I was on such a heavy fuel load at the time. He has done everything he needed to do, and we wait now to find out who will be the world champion of 2008. Is that clock? Is that clock going slowly? It is, That's it's clock. clock. Oh my goodness me, Hamilton's back in position again. A hundred thousand local hearts sink in the grandstands. It's handed the place back to Hamilton. He comes through, and if I'm absolutely right, I'm sure that he is going to claim fifth place, which is all he needs to do to become yes. the 2008 Formula One world World champion. The worst thing that I that I had for me is when I saw the image of my dad celebrating with my family in the garage, and then suddenly they understood that he was uh, past the Glock in the last corner. That for me was the most uh, difficult thing to to see compared to any other things. Spent all the three weeks, two weeks, uh, leading to that last race, reminding people what happened with Damon just bring that and, and I think I put a little bit of pressure on, on Michael to the point where the FI said if something like this happens that driver will be disqualified. No, nothing nasty has to happen on the track uh, and that was a big part and parcel of winning the championship is all that work uh, done which and that was done outside of the car uh, and that, that political game was hyper important because that did put a little bit of pressure on on Michael and Ferrari. I wasn't really surprised when he final, finally decided to turn in on me. But we went into that race knowing we would come out of it the winners. There was no other option. And it's go, 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 go! Villeneuve gets away and Schumacher gets away better, better, better! Michael Schumacher leads! 
Villeneuve is all over him, look. He's going he's through. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Help. I don't think... Help goes Michael Schumacher. That didn't work. That didn't work, Michael. You hit the wrong part of him, my friend. I... The way he hit me was really, really hard. I'm surprised that I could actually fi finish the race. You know, I couldn't go more on the inside. I was actually on the grass. You know, either Michael had his, old, his eyes closed or uh, somehow his hand slid on the steering or something. We had discussed this and playing with the team, with Jock, with my friends, and we were 100% sure that if there was the opportunity, then it, the, the opportunity would be taken. And that's why when I got next to him and we hadn't banged wheels yet, I was surprised. And it just came a little bit later. And if Villeneuve can just keep going in the points, he's won the World Championship of 1997. It's one thing, you win, you're on the podium, but it's, it's how you share it with, with the people you've worked with. And, and the whole Renault team and Yellow Wigs, uh, and they were under the podium with their yellow wigs and, and, and it's those moments that make it uh, special. All that pressure that had been carried on during the season, all that tension was suddenly just coming out. I said to myself, okay, 85, I want to win the championship. Whatever happened, if I had to finish fourth or fifth some races, I want to win the championship, so I'm going to behave a little bit different. For me, 85 for sure was a... Uh, I have done it. Everybody thinks that I could not do it or I lost it three times, you know, it was very close. And even 93 was also a different one. That was one of my most difficult seasons. So winning a championship at the end of the year was not the same pleasure than 86, for example. But I've been one, two, three more times world champion, but that would not change my... I, I prefer what I had, you know, fighting with KK, with Nikki, with uh, Nigel, with Damon, I mean, uh, and obviously, when you have a rivalry like this, you always get the best of yourself. Are there signs tonight that this, this championship battle, this, the pressure cooker environment, is getting to both drivers, albeit in different ways and in many ways? For the second time in the history of this World Championship, we have the scores level between the championship contenders going into the final race. You cannot forget that uh, Lewis had that uh, opportunity to beat Michael. Well, he's already the top of the top, but maybe the top of the top of the top. And I think that's very important for him to win this championship. But Max, he's trying everything he can. I think the first title is something that uh, uh, is the most important one. Because the first, I mean, he's just uh, put an arm on the, on, the, on the page. Max has definitely been always on it, always on, on the top of his form. Where Lewis seems to be a little bit tired at times. Uh, the, the saving grace for uh, Mercedes and Lewis is they don't pay a high price for mistakes. And they've done a lot of tiny ones this year. You don't see it in, 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 the, in the points at the end of the year. I don't know how long Max can keep it up at this level. Uh, it's very rare to see a driver that is from race one to race 22 now, that is always in that zone that on the bad weekend, he'll be only a tenth or two tenths off but there's still no mistakes and, and it's bound to happen. At some point, you know, the adrenaline won't carry him. I would say what is nice is uh, the one who is going to be world champion this year is a great champion, whatever happened, you know. And for Lewis, it's a uh, to have Max against him because it gives him his extra motivation uh, that he is showing to the, the whole world that uh, he really deserves to be uh, so, so many titles, you know. So, very difficult to say what's going to happen anyway. You've got a classic setup where you've got a potential all time greatest racing driver, undisputed eighth title that Lewis is going for, versus Max has got to break his duck and become world champion for the first time. Some, there's going to be tears somewhere. <laughs>